to a North Wales side by side video. Today we're in the GR Yaris and I'm going to touch on the 12 volt battery issue that's still quite a pre prevalent issue with Yaris hybrids. If it's something that really bothers you this 12 volt issue and you've got no idea how much power is in your 12 volt battery I'm just going to make a little suggestion and this solves a couple of problems when we go down to the area where the USB socket is and the power outlet socket we've only got one power outlet socket down here and we've only got one USB port that's the one that's connected to the main display in the car if you've got friends in the car and they want to charge their phones up it means you're taking this cable out and losing all the functionality on your main screen like your Google Maps and all the other functions you might be using so before we did the world tour I knew I was going to need power in the car for charging cameras up and for Danny to charge the phone up that he owned and I wasn't willing to lose the sat nav, my Google Maps and all the other functionality and I've got all my music on my iPhone that I wanted to listen to so I've dedicated that USB port to my iPod, my iPhone. I then went and bought this little gizmo and it's made by a company called Ring which gave me two extra USB ports and two power outlet ports but also, it gives me a battery health monitor that checks the condition of your 12 volt battery at all times. As you can see there, it's got red light, two amber lights and a green light. And it says on it low. I can't read it. It says low, 12 volt, medium and high. If the red lights lit up, then you know you've got a 12 volt battery issue. If it's showing 12 volts on the first amber light, on that one there, the car will start. If the red light's the only one that's lit up, you either need to charge your 12 volt battery up or go to Toyota and find out why that 12 volt battery is not charging up. It could be nothing more than you're not using the car enough. But I just thought I'd share a little idea where you're now capable of monitoring the health of the battery. And having a few more accessory ports available for the car, as you can see here, I've rerouted my sat nav, uh, not sat nav, my dash cam power point, instead of having it coming up and going into there, I can now route the cable through the centre console and up and it's all out of the way. Then I've got USB cable there for charging Android phones and the later type USB port which I use for charging my cameras and lots of phones are using this port now as well. And they're just out of the way in the cup holder that I never use because that's the cup holder that's an absolute pain in the ass to use because it's under the armrest. 
That one's still usable. Just thought it might be an idea for some of you out there. Just go and spend a tenner on this little uh, device and be able to monitor your battery. Just thought I'd put it out there. Thanks for watching enough well side by side video. Please consider subscribing. Please like the video, it helps the channel. Thank you.